Thank you for purchasing a Walk on Wheels wheelchair. This instructional video will provide you with everything you need to know to set up the wheelchair and get your pet walking. Here's what we'll cover in this video. What's in the Walk on Wheels box? How to set up the wheelchair? Putting your dog in the Walk on Wheels? Making sure the wheelchair is fitted properly? How to change the leg length if needed? Helping your dog get used to the wheelchair. Optional wheelchair accessories for purchase. How to contact us. And finally, you can watch dogs taking their first steps and then enjoying their new life in their walking wheels. Your walking wheels box comes with everything you need to set up the wheelchair. Inside the box you'll find a manual, DVD instructional video, an Allen key and set screws, the frame with the extenders and connector already attached, an extra connector for wider dogs, two wheels with the struts already attached. If your dog is heavier, you may have purchased extra wheels and struts. The front harness, a belly belt, two stirrups, and smaller and or larger leg rings depending on your dog's weight. Let's begin. As shipped, your wheelchair will fit most small pets. The wheelchair comes shipped to you according to your dog's leg measurement. Snap in each strut and wheel by placing it into the leg of the wheelchair. Do this on both sides. The wheelchair is made to be flexible and move with the body of your dog. There is a slight rattling sound that goes along with the flexibility. This is normal, but if you prefer to reduce the flexibility and the rattling sound, you can tighten up the frame. Only tighten the frame after you have completely adjusted the wheelchair to your dog. We will go over the steps to tightening the frame now, but please remember to do this only after you have put your dog in the wheelchair and have made final adjustments. To tighten the frame, Use the set screws that come with the wheelchair. There are three locations for screwing in the set screws. The bottom of the inside leg, outside the end of the frame, and outside the back of the frame. Do not over tighten the screws. The wheelchair will be quieter and less flexible. Again, this is a personal preference. Either way is perfectly fine. According to the size of your dog, there are three additional ways to adjust the wheelchair the width, the length, and the height. Use the Allen key to push in the push buttons to make the adjustments. Now you are ready to put the leg rings on the wheelchair. Your leg rings will come like this. Undo the Velcro strapping. Reattach the strapping so that it forms two side handles. Position the leg rings over the wheelchair so the tubing looks like two C's, not two V's. Put the leg rings on the wheelchair frame. Clip the leg rings onto the frame by making sure the clips go over, not under, the side of the wheelchair. Be sure you hear a snap each time you clip them in. If your dog's legs are paralyzed, they can be held up by the stirrups provided with your wheelchair. Clip the stirrups onto the wheelchair frame on the silver metal loops in the back. Some pets will need additional support under their belly. If your dog needs extra support in the middle of its body, you may need to use the optional belly belt. There are two sides to the belly belt, a side with a loop and a clip, and a side with Velcro. Put the side with the loop and the clip on by sliding the loop through the extender. Next, undo the Velcro on the other side of the belly belt and make sure that the red part will face the underside of your dog. You can keep it in place by putting the rope around the clip of the extender and tightening it so it doesn't slide farther back. Here's a close-up. The rope slides around the front harness clip to keep it in place, then tighten. 
The straps on the sides of the leg rings cross over the dog's rump to help keep the dog in the wheelchair. For some dogs, that may not feel comfortable. If this is the case, you can leave them hanging on the side or Velcro the two straps on each side together to form handles. Make sure that the leg rings are hanging about two inches below the frame, like a cradle or baby swing. Now you're ready. Here's our dog model, Menden. She's a rescue who has no use of her rear legs. First, get ready to put your dog's front harness on. Before adjusting the front harness, take the three neoprene comfort sleeves off. This will make it easier to adjust on the dog. There are two black straps and one red strap. The red strap has a clip on it. Unclip the harness to put it on your dog. Put the dog's head between the two black straps and put the red strap behind the front legs and underneath its belly. Clip into the side of the neoprene panel. Then tighten up the straps. Make sure that the neoprene shields are positioned over the dog's shoulders. All the straps should be adjusted so that they fit snugly. After the straps are snug, the comfort sleeves can be put back on. You'll need to take the harness off to do this. Make sure that the comfort sleeves tuck in the extra strapping so that it's not hanging down and interfering with your dog's movement. Then put the harness back on your dog. Let your dog get used to wearing the harness first and then introduce the wheelchair. When you are ready to put your dog into the wheelchair, Make sure the front harness is fully adjusted and is on your dog. The leg rings should already be on the wheelchair. Lift your dog into the leg rings. The extenders go through the D-ring on the front harness and clip into the mount pads on the side extenders. You can crisscross the leg ring strapping over the dog's back. The dog's toe pads should just touch the ground. If your dog's back legs are paralyzed, you should use the stirrups, which hang off the back of the wheelchair. Put your dog's back legs into the stirrups. Then adjust them by sliding the push lock buttons down over the hocks. Take the dog out of the frame to make any final adjustments. Make sure the dog's legs are out of the stirrups first. This is very important. Undo the straps over the dog's back. Then take the dog out of the front harness by unclipping the clips and taking the extenders out of the front harness. At this point, the front of the wheelchair will fall to the ground. Lift the dog's back end out of the leg rings. When the wheelchair is adjusted properly, the dog stands in a natural position. The black knuckles should be in line with the hips. The front harness D-ring clips should be clipped into the side extenders behind the shoulder blade. The dog's back should be straight. The side extenders should be parallel to the ground and should not extend past the dog's front legs. The dog's toe pads should be touching the ground, or the rear legs should be held up by the stirrups just above the hock. Remember that the side extenders, the legs, and the back of the wheelchair all have push buttons so that you can adjust the length, height, and width of the wheelchair to best fit your dog. If your dog needs more height, there is an adjustment that can be made to the long legs position. This is only if your dog needs that extra height. If this is the case, first take the wheels off the wheelchair using the Allen key to push the push buttons in. Pull off each wheel. Put the wheelchair frame on the edge of a table. Do one side at a time so that you don't get the right and left sides mixed up. 
Use a regular Phillips head screwdriver to unscrew the four screws on the knuckle. Keep the loosened screws in the knuckle while you are repositioning. Lift up the black knuckle and adjust the leg. On the inside of the leg, you can see that there are two holes that correspond with the small notches on the black block. Line up the holes with the notches on top of the black block. Put the knuckle back on top and make sure it's flush with the black block before retightening the screws. Make sure all of the screws are snug, then repeat this process on the other side. Here are some tips to keep in mind to help your dog get used to the wheelchair. Let your dog get used to wearing the harness first, then introduce the dog to the wheelchair. Always use positive reinforcement for encouragement. If your dog is food motivated, be sure to have very special treats on hand to reward your dog's first steps. Start with short, supervised sessions in the wheelchair five or ten minutes, up to several times each day, until your dog is comfortable in the walk-in wheels. Here are some walk-in wheels accessories for the wheelchair that may be purchased separately if you wish. The walk-in belly support. Walk-in wheels amputee leg ring cover. Walk-in dog boots and stirrup kit. Walk-in lift rear harness and walk-in small front vest. Please refer to your walk-in wheels manual to review these instructions. And remember that customer service representatives are always just a phone call or website live chat away, or you can email us. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.